You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. Hey, I'm telling you, embrace it because it's inevitable. Direction determines destination. Destination is not determined by hope. It's not determined by wish. Destination is determined by direction. You know, every time you lose at something, you're one step closer to winning the next time. The difference between successful people and not successful people are people give up. People wake up every morning, they have doubt, they have fear, they lose in a Ferrari race or they lose in a race, and then they just give up. The, the, the hardest thing in life to learn is to lose. Winning's easy. You win, you're happy, you get a high five, your friends are happy. It's your ability to take a loss, get up the next day, dust yourself off, and keep going. I have lost at everything you can imagine. Seriously, we have, I have been beat up and put down, and everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for me, but I, I just kept going. But here's the thing, I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy, work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. I prayed, I prayed, and I prayed. But I continued to fail, and fail, and fail. But it didn't matter, because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. So you will catch a break, and I did catch a break. If you constantly remind yourself, after every defeat, after every setback, every time you get knocked down, I've got a saying, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. See, a lot of people, because of failure, they stop, they stop believing. Let me share something with you. You will fail your way to success. Yes. Eight out of ten millionaires have been financially bankrupt. You will fail your way to success. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you that you can't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. You will fail your way to success. You cannot change destination overnight. You cannot change destination overnight which means you can't arrive at a five years from now place tomorrow. But here's what you can change today and overnight. You can change direction. One of the biggest challenges for people is everybody wants a better quality of life. Everybody wants life to be greater, but almost all of us get stuck at times where something stops us, something prevents us from doing something that we really are capable of doing. Whether it's turning around our body or shifting a relationship or turning around our finances or just maybe just being happy and fulfilled at a different level, we get stuck with a belief of how we're not supposed to be, what we're not supposed to do, what people won't accept, what we're not capable of. Or maybe we get stuck in an emotional pattern of just being pissed off or frustrated or worried or sad or overwhelmed. Sometimes we get stuck, you know, not so much in anything, but some just some habits of doing things a certain way. And what a breakthrough simply is, is that moment in time where there's an opening. And the opening can come from a conversation. It can come from meeting somebody that inspires you. It can come from an insight. It can come from watching a movie and being moved emotionally at just that right moment. It usually comes because something kind of clicked inside of us. Something snapped us and made us look at life through a different filter in a different way. And you know it's a real breakthrough because you take that little insight, that little distinction, that little moment, or maybe that little or big emotion inside of you that says, no more, I'm going to change this, and suddenly you do something to make your life better. You break out of the impossibility of life has to be this way or life is controlling me and you start to take back control of your life. You start to make the shift that creates the quality of life that you really deserve. Everybody experiences extreme stress at some point in their life. I don't care who we are. Something happens outside our control and it hits our life and it knocks us on our tail. It might be a health stress. It could be something with your family. It could be economic, career. It could be something emotional that happens, biochemical, there's so many things. It could be an environmental situation that had nothing to do with you. Every one of us in our lifetime are experiencing extreme stress in these days because of the economy and the way we respond to it. 
the majority of people are experiencing some form of extreme stress, at least according to polls. Stress doesn't come from the facts. Stress comes from the meaning that we give to the facts. Yes, those things have happened, but the real question is, if we fight what's happened, we got a problem. We gotta decide, what are we gonna do with what's happened in our life? How are we gonna take this? How are we gonna mold this? How are we gonna turn our life around? Because when you come up with a new meaning, you get a new life. So what are we gonna do in this session? Well, in this session, we're gonna take a look at something from a different perspective. We're gonna ask you this question. What is the single force that controls the quality of your life? If there was one gift our creator has given us, or the universe, whatever you believe, what is it, what is the one power that you have right now in this moment that can change everything? You have it, I have it, we all have it. It's this one singular individual power that can change anything in our life, regardless of what's happened to us. And I know you know the answer. The answer is the power of choice. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events, but we can choose what to focus on, we can choose what things mean, and we can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions really control our life. It's not so much the conditions of our life that control our destiny as much as the decisions of our life. Try for a second to think about something. Think about your life and just think about, are there a few decisions? If I were to ask you two decisions you've made in your life, you know that if you would have made a different decision, you would have had a totally different life. But you won't be able to do it when you're telling yourself the sky is falling and it's over. When you see it worse than it is, you'll just give up. You won't do it if you don't tell yourself the truth is, you know what, this system isn't working. I gotta do something. I gotta change my finances. I gotta change my job. I gotta reach. If you don't tell yourself the truth and deal with the truth, the real truth, nothing's gonna happen. When you fight life and go, I should be a singer and not a mom, and you got five kids, you got a problem. When you fight life and say, you know, the economy should be different, you're gonna be stressed. Deal with what is. With Without exaggeration, with total honesty, dealing with the cards, coming up with a vision, finding yourself a role model that shows your strategy, work your tail off, give, 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 keep changing your approach, and you can get where you want to go. Make sense? Whatever you have produced, it came out of you as a result of the kind of person that you have become. It's a result of your choices, it's a result of your consciousness. Now you have to ask yourself, are you satisfied with what you have produced? Is this what you want? Would you like for things to be better than this? Do you believe that you deserve better than this? Or are you content? This is it. You don't have to do every, anything else. That you've already resigned yourself in life and said, well, I'm happy. I'm not starving like the people in Calcutta. Are you allowing yourself to get off the hook like that? Or do you believe somewhere in the back of your mind or in your heart that there is some other great work for you to do? There's something else that life has for you. And that's why you're here. How do we handle this fear factor? How do we increase our self-esteem? You have to begin to fortify yourself. How do we do that? I believe that you have to begin to consciously monitor your inner conversation and start talking to yourself. Start building yourself up. Sometimes the only good things you will hear about you are the things that you say to you. So I'm saying learn to be your own booster. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. See, we are born negative, I think, in a negative consciousness because we live in a negative world. So I'm saying that we have to work through the challenges of life in learning how to begin to work to fortify ourselves. Begin to guard your mind against negative programming, like turn off the television. So you've got to guard the kinds of things that you put in your mind. See, if you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed because human beings are goal-oriented. That's why we die of broken hearts early. That's why we're running through life to early grave. Most of us go through life running scared. So we created this in our minds, false evidence appearing real. We made it real in our minds. There's nothing to fear, but fear itself. That's the destructive monster. So turn off things that can contribute to your fear. Turn a deaf ear to people that all they can do is talk about how negative things are because they have bought into the consciousness of the world. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself, in a new life for yourself. 
What idea are you sitting on? Write your ideas down. And then, once you get that idea, take the leap. See, a lot of people get the ideas and just walk around with them. Take the leap. See, it's out here in the universe. If you don't take the plunge, I guarantee you, somebody else will. Take the plunge. Go into action. And ladies and gentlemen, you will be surprised at how things will come together. You'll be surprised. Now, you're going to have some difficult challenges. I can tell you that now. Be aware of that. Things are not going to work out exactly right. For a time, they will, sometimes. And that's when life is just playing the game with you. But ladies and gentlemen, go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. And get some hickeys on your head. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. See, most people don't get out in the arena of life because they don't want to fight. Most people don't get out there because they don't want to get knocked down. They don't want to be dropped to their knees. But see, you're going to be dropped whether you're on the field or whether or not you're sitting on the sidelines. You're going to be dropped. So at least get dropped for something. Don't get knocked down while you're sitting down. See, that's how most people are spectators in life. You don't want to be a spectator. You want to get out in the field where the action is. And you will be amazed. After the struggle, there will be a calm period and things will begin to click for you. Come out here with what you got. You don't have enough money? Don't worry about it. You got the dream. You got the idea. You don't have enough resources? Don't worry about it. You need some help? Don't worry about it. You get out here in the arena, someone will look at you and become inspired and say, Hey, can I help you? But if you're sitting up on the bleachers, nobody's going to ask you anything.